Good morning. WordPress 6.2 was released yesterday and it features some brilliant updates. For example, the ability to add sticky headers to block themes, the ability to add your own custom CSS to the full site editor, the ability to embed Google fonts, a beautiful new distraction free writing mode, a better media inserter, improved performance. But for me, there's one feature that stands out above all the others and it's called the style book. And here it is. Think of this a bit like a global styles manager, but you can actually see the changes you're making in real time. That's what's so great about this. You can only see this if you're using a block theme and you're using WordPress 6.2. I'll show you in a minute how you get here, but just to explain how it works, here in the middle we have all our content, our blocks, and you'll see these tabs along the top here. So at the moment we're seeing our text type blocks, and if I scroll down you can see them all here. But over on the right here you can actually change the styles of them. For example, if I want to change my headings here, I can come to typography and I can jump in here and I can change the typography of my headings. So in this case, I'm going to change the font. I've loaded some other fonts using the create block theme plugin and let's select that as my font here. And you see you get an instant preview of what that font's going to look like. You can obviously change everything about this. So if you want to increase the letter spacing here, you can do that to change it. But this is a global change. So once you change it here, this is going to impact all the headings on your website. If I want to change the paragraph font, for example, I just click down here into the paragraph block and you'll see over here the settings change accordingly. It tells me at the top here I'm in the paragraph block itself and let's go and change the font. So typography and down here I'm just going to choose railway as my font and you can see the fonts change here as well. Again, I've got full access to all the things like size and appearance and line height so I could make it thin if I wanted to here and you'll see it's changed to thin. So in the text tab up here, you can change the headings, the paragraph, the list, the quote, the code, preformatted pull quotes, the table styles and the verse styles. Let's have a look at the media tab here and I'm gonna show you a few extra bits of functionality. For example, if I want to change the style of the image block here, I click on it, come across here to the right and I'm gonna change the border. I'm gonna give it a little border. So let's add a little border on this, just a black border. But you can also add custom CSS per block. For example, if I wanted to add a little bit of drop shadow to this, image block here, I can do that here. Just come down to additional block CSS, click on that, pop your CSS in, and there's the CSS drop shadow that's added to that image block, and that applies to all image blocks on my site. Let's finish off by having a look at the design blocks. Just click on the design tab. We've got the buttons block here, and then we can style the columns block. We can style group blocks, and then down here we can style the read more block, the page break, the separator, the custom link, and the home link as well. Let me just show you one interesting thing about the buttons block here. So we can obviously change the style. We'll just come across here, and we could change maybe the background color to a slightly less vibrant color there, and we can also change the text color of that buttons block as well. But the other cool thing that we can do with this is we can add shadows to this, and you'll see here we've got this new shadow option here. If I click on that and click into it, you can see I can add a subtle little blurry background shadow. What's also really nice about the style book is we can also edit the style variations. So down here we have style variations. These are variations, preset variations that users can use when they're using this particular block. But we have access now to design this as well. You can see this is a little preview up here of what it looks like at the moment. But we can come down here and change all those things within here as well. So for example, I could change the style of the shadow if I wanted to change that. And now I save it here. And when I'm using the block editor, that new button style will be available for me. Let's see this in action. So I'm just going to add a new page and I'm going to quickly add the buttons block into this page so we can see what it looks like. There's the standard one with my little blurry box shadow. But if we come over to the right here and click on styles, you'll see we can change to the outline view and there's the style that I put into the global styles. Let's test out adding the image block to see whether the drop shadow has worked. Let's just pick an image. And there we go, there's the drop shadow that I added into the Stylebook CSS. To access the Stylebook, just come to Appearance over here on the left and then come to Editor. Once you're in the Site Editor, click into any template whatsoever and come to the top right, click on the Styles icon on the top right and then that's the icon we want, the little eye icon. Click on the Stylebook and there's your Stylebook. You can access everything in here. The tabs are along the top here, just click into each tab to see each specific type of block and then to edit each block, just click into it and then access the settings over on the right. If you want to reset styles back to default, there's two ways to do it. You can either do it per block. For example, I've clicked on the headings block here and I can come into typography, click on those little three dots there and reset them here. But if I want to globally reset all the styles, then I can come all the way to the top up here next to the eye icon 
the same three dots and I can go reset to defaults. That will reset the styles of all the blocks that I've styled on my site. I think the style book is a great addition to site editing. It makes it much easier to consolidate your design ideas in one place. I hope you found that useful. If you did, if you can hit the like button below, it would be a massive, massive help because it really, really, really helps spread the word of the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this around WordPress and Gutenberg, hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.